at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So it is currently Monday, start of the new work week. This past weekend was, you know, I was scratching both games. And I think it is a great challenge though. And I mean that in all sincerity, it's a great challenge to show the coaching staff what I made of, to show that the team, that I am truly a team player so that when I get an opportunity, they know that this isn't just some selfish a-hole. This is actually a real team player and a guy that we want to play for, which I think that's why the guys got really excited when I did get an opportunity to win in this exact same arena last season was because they knew that I was a team player. When that does happen this season, I'll be ready. I'll be prepared. I'll make the most of it on the lighter side. We are on the payroll, and uh, I believe it's an 18. How much do I make? I think I make 18 bucks a day at the ring, so I'm already at 20 bucks just showing up this morning, so that's a pretty good deal. So I spent last weekend in the stands, scratch for both games. Now, how am I going to fix this? Well, let's be honest, practices are not exactly designed around goaltenders, and I like to live by the saying of God helps them who help themselves. So I'm trying to help myself by getting myself a proper warm-up pin to get my eyes, my head, and my hands active before practice even starts. And this is the first change I'm making this week in preparation for getting myself back into the lineup. Pinky. Uh, shout out to my boy John Armatidis. He's got probably the hardest release on the team and he just kind of caught me right at the end fingertip range of the glove. At first I was honestly like super worried. I honestly thought he broke my finger but uh, now I'm kind of getting a little bit more motion back obviously in the gym throwing some weights around so everything will be good to go for practice. Also I got a fresh haircut and a fresh fade too. Well kind of fade. Thoughts? Hopefully you like it. I like it. I think that may quite possibly be the first time I've ever gone out to eat by myself with uh, nobody across me. It's kind of nice, you know. So today is Tuesday, and Tuesday is all about adding depth. Now I was told by our management to play above the blue paint and to have more active hands. Well, guess what? Ask and you shall receive, because that is exactly what I am focused on today at practice and moving forward throughout the week. To deliver and do my job for what I am being asked of. So when I started skating back from my hip surgery, I was probably weighing like 240 pounds and then end of the summer, I was down like 220. Now, I took a little bit of inspiration from Matt Murray. I know a couple of years when he was going through a lot of injury problems, uh, he ended up putting on like 30, 40 plus pounds of muscle over the summer. And a lot of people think that he's just a rail pole. Put a picture of us up on the screen right here. 
Dude is jacked, it's huge shoulders. And uh, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from that. Bench press is up to almost like two plates. I'm almost part of the two plate club. I'm probably gonna guess I'm probably in like that 230, 235 range right now, but I feel like I'm moving pretty well, all things considered. Still a lot of, uh, of self-improvement, a lot of journaling, trying to take care of my diet, take care of my sleep, hydration, gym time. It's a healthy body, it's a healthy mind, and I'm trying to live it every single day, so. I think people are gonna think we have an actual official chef here. Right, look at those protein brownies, well made. I don't care what team in the Fed you play for, nobody gets fed as good as us. Even the Columbus River Dragons and the uh, Binghamton Black Bears, they don't have as much good food as we do. Like, look at this. You get fed so good by the chef. Who doesn't want to be in the video? <laughs> now a word from today's video sponsor, Manscaped.com. The new Manscaped Beard Hedger is a premium beard sculpting machine with enough power and precision to craft your style in a single swipe. The kit comes with a styling cream, beard conditioner and shampoo, a little scrubby here for getting all the junk out of your beard, and the main attraction, the Hedger itself. It's got 20 different lengths that are controlled by this little zoom wheel that you click back and forth, as you see here. It also carries a 60 minute battery life on a single charge, all encased in its waterproof design. And you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code TRAVSUCKS at manscaped.com. That is 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code TRAVSUCKS at checkout. It is time to feel sexy and free this 2023. There's still a new stick, isn't it? PL from Quebec and we're doing a warm-up. Happy Wednesday! I need to turn it on or anything? Is it working right now? Hey, Walkman. About to dunk on your trout. And that is where today's video is going to end. If you want more FPHL behind the scenes content and stories, download my podcast, Sling the Biscuit. It is available on Apple, Spotify, and the video version is home here on YouTube. Otherwise, I will see you on the next Sunday, Wednesday upload for the next vlog, and we will pick up the story for whether or not I end up making it back into the lineup this coming weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.